Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 2.10 from Sadiko book. So the question is determine I2 and IT from this circuit here. This is not typical electrical circuit, but this has been simplified into a graph. And maybe we need to find out where I1 is. Where is I1? Oh, this is I1 here and I2 is here. We need to find out I1 and I2. Okay. To find out I1, we can use this node here. But we need to, we also have I2 here. So we have not known I2. So maybe let's see if we can do it here. Is it okay? This I1 is goes in and the other currents is just number. So yeah we can do it let's name this node as node a and we can do kcl at node a and then kcl said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the currents that goes out the currents that goes in is only this i1 here so i will have i1 and then all the other currents are going out this current is going out so we will have minus 6 ampere going out and then minus 8 ampere also going out so we'll have it like this so we will have i1 is minus 14 ampere we get this Then what we need to do next is to find out the I2 here. Now we can choose between this node here, node B, or C to find out I2. Because we have known I1 from the first problem here. I want to do the easiest way. So let's do KCL at node C. KCL at node C. And KCL said that the sum of the currents that goes in will equal to the sum of the currents that goes out. Uh, the current that goes in, there are two currents that goes in, which is I2 here. And then plus, this minus 6 ampere is going in into node C. So I will have minus 6. And the other current here is going out so i will have four there so i have i2 minus six will equal to four therefore i2 will be four plus six that will be ten and so we can get the value of i2 is ten yeah, that is the value of i1 and this is the value of i2 so hopefully I did not make any mistakes in the calculation. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.